as long as he was not even allowed to fight back for freedom, then that would be fine. The children of an Arklatex murder victim reacts to a life sentence handed down to Charles Sprayberry, who pled guilty of the uh, Cass County double murder. Jennifer Archer and John Thomas Jr. were shot to death at their home, and it was burned to the ground earlier this year. Tonight, we have reaction from the Cass County judge on why he gave Sprayberry life in prison instead of a death penalty trial. Here's Stacy Cameron. Because of that, I decided that the life without parole would be a better option than dragging the family through a trial and seeking the death penalty. Cass County District Attorney Courtney Shelton is pleased with the plea of inmate Charles Sprayberry. This Tuesday, Sprayberry pleaded guilty to the murders of John Thomas Jr. and Jennifer Archer. This past March, Thomas and Archer were found dead in the rubble of a burned camper. The two had suffered gunshot wounds. The DA said Sprayberry admitted to the murders while in custody for other crimes. The DA added they worked on a plea agreement for nearly two months. Archer's children say they are okay with the judge's sentence. You know, as long as he was not even allowed to fight back for freedom, then that would be fine. Now, I mean, really, if you think about it, like the lethal injection would have kind of been too much of a pleasure. It would have been too quick. It would have been too quick. Investigators said Sprayberry and Thomas lived at the location where the incident occurred. The DA outlined what happened the night of the murders. Uh, there was an altercation, according to Sprayberry, uh, and he pulled out the gun and shot him. Uh, the Jennifer Archer was an innocent victim in this. She had nothing to do with it, and I think she was back in the bedroom. She heard the shots. She screamed, and that's when he realized she was there, and so he had to shoot her, too. Sprayberry also pleaded guilty to assault causing bodily injury, family violence, escape with a deadly weapon, and assault on a public servant. This morning, he was transferred to the state prison in Huntsville. So he just has to have that on his chest for the rest of his life, because it's going to be going through our minds for the rest of our lives. So and it, it better be going through his. So it better go through his. Stacey Cameron, KSLA News 12.